So today you are going to learn how to make a painting exactly like this one. It's a bouquet of flowers drawn in a very impressionistic way, which is super, super simple. So the first thing you're going to need is something to paint on top of. I am using a bin bag, but maybe you can use newspaper or something else. Then you are going to need some paper. Um, ideally the paper will be thicker than normal printing paper. Um, I'm using watercolour paper, which is very thick. Then we're going to need a palette where we can mix our paints. Mine is very dirty, please ignore that. Then we'll need paint brushes. I have a lot of paint brushes, you don't need as many. One or two will be okay. And finally, you're going to need some paint. Um, mainly blue, green, red and yellow, and you'll probably also need a little bit of white. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide on a background colour. As you can see, I'm going to grab a little bit of blue and a little bit of red, and I'm going to mix them together to create a purple. I decide that I want to use quite a thick brush because it'll cover more surface when doing the background. As you can see, I am now going to add a little bit of yellow to my purple to make it a little bit warmer and also a little bit of white. I will then start applying my paint to my canvas in crisscross brush strokes. So as you can see, I am painting X's all over my paper. I keep picking up paint um, and sometimes mixing a little bit darker paint as well because the background doesn't have to be very even. So as you can see now I've added a lot more blue to my purple so it's a lot darker. What I have tried to do is I've tried to keep the darker shades to one side and the lighter shades to the other side. And voila, that is what the background looks like. For the next part, what I'm going to do is I am going to change my paintbrush. I was using a big paintbrush and now I'm going to use a slightly smaller one. And I'm going to grab a little bit of blue and I'm going to mix it with the strange purple colour that we'd made before to create a dark blue, grey looking colour. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to paint the negative space on the canvas. So what is the negative space? The negative space is the space in between things. So as you can see, I've started imagining where some of my flowers could go. And so, as I've mentioned before, I'm painting the space in between the flowers with this blue that I've created. If you let the video roll on a little bit more, you will see that I've left a couple of circles where I haven't added any paint. That is where the main petals of the flower are going to go. And so I don't want to cover that with my dark blue because the flower is going to be white. Now it's time to start adding some greens into our bouquet to represent the leaves. For you to get green, if you don't already have green paint, you only have to mix yellow and blue. I have two types of yellow here, one that is brighter and one that is slightly warmer but not as bright. Both of them will do, they'll achieve different effects and different colours, but it doesn't really matter at the moment, so I'm just going to choose one of them and decide on a paintbrush which is thinner than the ones we have been using up until now and I am going to mix myself some green. The next bit is going to look a little bit scary but I promise you it's really really simple. The only thing you have to do is you have to be very loose with your brush strokes and start creating 
the effect of different leaves. I'm not drawing a leaf, I'm drawing brush strokes that may look like a leaf later on. As you can see, I'm also adding a little bit of green to the spaces I have left blank where my main petals are going to go. That is because usually in a flower, the base of the flower is composed of some sort of greenery. Now I'm just going to mix a little bit of yellow into my green and start dotting around different spaces where we could find some leaves. Again, as I've said, this looks very scary, but it really isn't. It's just me mixing a bunch of different coloured paints and just dotting them around and creating the effect of having leaves there. Remember, it's not about drawing each individual leaf, but creating the impression of a leaf. And I do this in layers. I do this over and over again, creating different colours of green. Perhaps some of them are slightly more blue, perhaps some have more white. And I'm just drawing leaves, layer by layer by layer. This doesn't look very organized, and that is because it isn't. It's very chaotic at the moment, but this is just going to make for a very, very nice background later on. For the next step, we want to get a little bit of blue and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of green, mix them together, and we're going to start dotting them uh, to create certain flowers. So as you can see, I'm going to dot them in this upper bit here where I have a lot of blue and not a lot of green. You can't really see my dots, but you can see the motion that I'm doing with my paintbrush, um, which is mainly circular and I start dotting that around the painting, around different bits. Remember, this is impressionistic. It doesn't have to look like exact circles. You're just dotting them around. Then I grab the blue that we just made and add a little bit of white to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to start adding highlights to the flowers that we have just created. For us to do this, we just have to dot around our light blue colour over the colour that we have just painted. We don't have to cover everything. This is really important. You need the lighter shades and the darker shades to create the impression of depth into your painting. grab yourself a thinner brush. I'm using this one. It's not super thin but it is thinner than what I was using before. And with that I'm mixing my green and my white to create a very very light green. With this light green I'm now going to start painting some leaves that are a little bit more defined into my bouquet. I have now decided that I also want to add a little bit of yellow to make certain parts of the flowers that I'm drawing stand out. It's very, very simple and I've dotted them around pretty randomly, much like everything else that I've done so far in the painting. And so we're finally going to tackle the flowers and for the flowers I am going to create a grey background by doing, by mixing all of the colours in my palette and adding white 
I will achieve a grey that looks maybe a little bit too blue, but a grey nonetheless, which I am afterwards going to apply um, in very loose brush strokes to my flowers. As you can see, I still haven't coloured everything, I am just colouring certain bits of the flowers. Don't worry, we will figure out the rest in a little bit. I am now going to mix some paint um, to create more highlights on the blue flowers that we have drawn already. So I'm going to create a very, very light blue with blue and white and then I'm going to dot it with quick brush strokes all over the flowers that we have already drawn, like this. At this point I also realised that some of the flowers were more in shade than the others so I decided that I wanted to use some really light purple to add highlights to some of the flowers that are further back. The really fun thing about this painting is that you can create as many leaves and as many flowers as you want and at this point I realised that I wanted more leaves on my bouquet so I created some green and then I started painting more to find leaves all over my painting. So and then my camera see, jumped I started off and for flowers, some reason forgot to record um, when I first just white, tackled really? the flowers and in white. What I'm doing I'm here is I'm grabbing a round paintbrush, um, paint that is square one, just because perhaps medium size, better for what I'm trying to do. and I'm going and to, I'm in very to swift small strokes brush center, strokes, and start and building the flower the from the centre outwards. Um, so I the further out we get, get the bigger the petals are going to be, the and the bigger our brush strokes are going to be. In nature, there is no such thing as pure white. There always is a little bit of shade and a little bit of a bunch of other colours mixed in with what looks like white. So what I'm doing here is I'm making some grey and I'm painting a little bit of grey onto the petals that we have already drawn. This immediately makes them look a little bit more realistic and a little less like a poster. And just like I've added some grey, I decide that I also want to add some blue highlights onto my petals. So I've just mixed that grey that we have just made with some blue. And I have dabbed it around my flowers um, to make them look a little more realistic, as I've said before. And then it's finally time for my favourite part. We are mixing very, very light green with even more white and we are adding the finishing touches which basically consist on more defined flowers, little dots and anything else that we want to add to our painting to make it look extra cool. So I decided that my painting was looking a little bit dark and so I needed to brighten it up. And this right here is the final result. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick and really rapid tutorial on how to paint an impressionistic painting.